But what's really the number one threat right now for ATMs? What type of skimmer? Deep insert. Deep insert. It's just getting worse and worse in part because the laws in the United States are great. If you hold a credit card and your card is compromised, you have great protections. Who pays for it at the end? The consumers, we do. Of the interest rates, it's around 4% I heard most recently. That goes just <coughs> toward the covering the fraud. What's on your card? A chip, right? And who here uses chip and pin? So do you enter a pin when you put your card in? So there's one person here that's doing true chip and pin. Probably the rest of us are doing what? What we're, we're signing. Now, could I take your card and stick it into a machine and sign it Mickey Mouse and with the transaction go through? Yes. So is that added layer of security that valuable? No. Where are the weaknesses in the system? It's on the back of the card, the mag strip that we can't get rid of. It's got our credit card information and that's what they want to take off your card. Six common keys for the majority of gas pumps of so the 1.5 plus million gas pumps throughout the United States. You buy them on eBay for about 15 bucks. You buy that key, open the pump, you can take a skimmer, place it in there, close the door and lock it. It takes about 15 seconds. I presented numerous times on the subject in the past few years, and I was approached so far by two people in the audience asking me very interesting questions. And I quickly determined that they were installing skimmers and so i decided let me find out some things one gentleman answered honestly when i asked him it was a part-time gig for him he was making 40 grand a week on average just in skimming credit cards the big states are texas uh california arizona florida and i think it's in mexico kind of the top five where the the most skimmers are reported and there's actually a huge problem in convenience stores again a little bit different these are overlay skimmers i can buy the keypad for eight dollars you ever seen that sign there it's, do not insert please swipe why do they do that it's because there's a skimmer in there they just put up a dummy sign it still works they just don't want you to stick your card in there they want you to swipe they take crazy glue and put it on a card and they stick it in there to screw up the reader for the chip and pin and if they do it in the right spot, chip and pin literally stops working. And now you go to stick your card in, the card goes in, but it's not working. I said, ah, oh, just swipe it, that thing's intermittent. How does a shimmer work different than a skimmer? A skimmer specifically, as we mentioned earlier, is a second magnetic read head that's reading your track one, track two data on the mag stripe on the bottom of the card when the card is inserted. A shimmer is really kind of, you think of it, if you're familiar with a man in the middle attack, You've got the card reader inside, and when the card, it goes in here, in between that, and they decrypt that. They can parse that, and they can pull out the information. You can't burn a new pen, but you can burn an old master. So now I can take this stolen information from the pen. Now I've got your card. Um, questions?